Now, welcome everybody. Um, today, 23 of Trad Tunes at Lunch. Coming as always from Coolani in County Sligo in association with the Hawkswell Theatre. And uh, today is Friday, so we're coming to the end uh, of another week. And um, yes, so today's tune um, has come to be unexpectedly a great, uh, a great uh, surprise and a treat to have new tunes uh, sent your way. And um, yesterday we mentioned um, the great accordion player Joe Burke, the legendary Joe Burke. Um, was mentioned during our tune day yesterday and as it happened um, I got a message afterwards from the great Sligo accordion player Dahi Gormley um, who is an absolute mine of information uh, about all things music uh, and Dahi is a absolutely great great um, musical mind that lives here uh, in the area and for a man of a young age he's done an incredible amount of research uh, into the old music and uh, old recordings and things like that. So uh, I had the pleasure of working uh, with Dahi, if you could call it work, it was enjoyable, 100% um, enjoyable, uh, in putting together the Fiddlers of Sligo tune book uh, a couple of years back. Uh, but anyway, Dahi uh, is an accordion player that's very, very familiar with, with Joe Burke and um, was taught by Joe for uh, many years. And so he sent me along uh, a tune that was composed by Joe Burke and um, that I'd never heard before at all. So I'm going to, I'm going to just read out now um, the little bit of background that Dahi mentioned uh, about the tune, if I can find it here now. Um, it's a tune I'd never heard before and it was composed by Joe Burke. Um, so a great discovery and thanks for sending that along Dahi uh, if you're tuning in today. Thanks a million for the, for the tune. Um, yeah, that he said it was it was composed by Joe in nineteen fifty eight, so it goes goes back a long time, and Joe forgot about it until twenty thirteen, um, until uh, until he found it on a tape and started playing it again, um, so it was unplayed and hidden for for decades really you could say, and uh, his beloved dog Patsy too he was just after dying what a great name for 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 a dog, um, was just after dying so he called it Patsy's Whiskers. Um, yeah, it's a great, great tune. Really, really loved it. And um, up until that, uh, then, um, yesterday, I didn't know the tune existed at all. Uh, so thanks a million, Dahi, for sending along Patsy's Whiskers, which is uh, our tune uh, of the day uh, today. Um, one, one of the one of Joe's tunes that I do, uh, that I have played a lot in the past, is a beautiful reel called The Morning Mist. Uh, it's a tune I often play with not the great accordion player, Seamus Begley, uh, down there in West Kerry, who is also a great friend of Joe. And um, yeah, Joe, Joe and his wife, uh, Anne Conroy, are always a great presence around so many of the summer school weeks uh, during the summer. It's always great uh, to run into them. Such lovely people and uh, amazing musicians uh, as well to boot. So Joe doesn't need any introduction. Uh, he's been, you know, probably one of the biggest names in accordion playing uh, for decades. Uh, here and he lived in America for a few years too uh, in the 60s I think and of course he recorded that beautiful album uh, with Andy McGann tribute to, to Michael Coleman um, so he's a great interest in that Sligo music uh, as well and a great great knowledge about it um, he's a, a very interesting man to have a conversation uh, with which unfortunately I haven't had enough of an opportunity to do over the years but he's a mind of information uh, certainly about the Sligo music. So anyhow, thanks to Dahi uh, for this tune today, which is called um, Hatsi's Whiskers. We'll give it a go.
that was um, Patsy's Whiskers, a lovely tune that Joe Burke composed um, seemingly in 1958 and had forgotten uh, about the tune until he heard it on a recording uh, many years later. So he called it after his dog, Patsy Tui, had passed away uh, recently. So thanks a million to Dahi Gormley, uh, the great Sligo accordion player, uh, for sending that tune to me yesterday. A really, a really beautiful tune. And... I was thinking while playing it that um, often tunes, you know, sound, you can hear the era that they, that they came from, from the tune. That, that tune definitely sounds like, um, you know, some of the tunes from that era in that, in that style from the 50s and 60s. I think of composers maybe like uh, Sean Ryan uh, and, and such. It's a lovely, actually fits lovely on the fiddle. So uh, a big thank you to Dahi for sending that along. And of course, uh, to Joe Burke, for composing the, the, the tune and I wonder if there are any other um, unknown, mysterious tunes uh, Joe that, that Joe has composed over the years that we haven't uh, heard yet. I certainly hope uh, there's a few more uh, out there. So um, let us know if you've, if you've heard that tune before. Um, I certainly hadn't uh, until Dahi sent it yesterday. So thank you very much uh, Dahi. And um, just looking through your comments there, Trond from, from Norway. All the best from Norway. Ah, oh, fantastic. I had a day, I spent a day in Norway back in um, February. What a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. And the, uh, the weather was unseasonably warm, I think, at that stage. Um, people were saying they hadn't had the cold winter that you would expect in Norway at that time. So, um, Joanne, thanks a million for your message. Joanne Fleming, we uh, met Joanne at the great Birmingham Tradfest, trip to Birmingham Tradfest uh, last November uh, in uh, what a great, what a great and well-run festival uh, in England there. And Mary Alice from, from, um, from Kansas, thanks a million. I love, as a dog lover, I love the name of the tune. Well, that's great. Um, it's a, a lovely musical name um, and what an incredible piper Patsy Tuvi it was. I mean, what the man did was groundbreaking musically and, uh, and otherwise he was he was definitely out uh, on his own at that particular time at the beginning of the 20th century. It's amazing. And we can still hear, we can still hear recordings of how he sounded. It's, it is amazing. So we'll finish off today and our thanks again to Dahi and to Joe Burke, of course, the composer, uh, for this tune uh, called Patsy's Whiskers, which I'll play slowly uh, and then uh, we'll finish off a little bit faster. Thanks a million, everybody, uh, and have a great weekend. And um, next week, next week will be... Um, we'll be finishing up the series of Trad Tune at lunch uh, next Friday. So we've one more week uh, to go because, of course, here in Ireland uh, on May 18th, Monday, May 18th, uh, the phase one of uh, the reopening begins. So uh, we had kind of conceived this or imagined this tune a day, Trad Tune a day, uh, to be while we're all locked down. So it's great that we're beginning uh, the reopening on Monday the 18th of May here in Ireland and I know in other places uh, of course it's very specific uh, in every country so uh, we're definitely definitely conscious of that but we're happy uh, to be beginning beginning slowly to reopen on May, Monday May 18th so May the 15th next Friday will be our last Trad Tuna Day but look we'll talk about that next week again and uh, thank you so much as always for li listening and for your comments and suggestions and uh, Enjoy the weekend.
Have a great weekend. Thank you very much.